please. It's your boy Dutch the Damon, and you now watching Damon Town with Dutch. On today's episode of Prison Stories Uncut, we have Hades Town RCI Roxbury trapped on that farm with it, man. Now, this situation took place many moons ago. They had your boy up there trapped on that farm. But before I hop off in the storytelling mode, we're gonna go ahead on and run the shout outs down for the people that have been supporting the channel through Cash App. First up on the list, we got the brother Dennis McCoy. This brother been supporting since day one. Can't appreciate you enough, brother. Dennis McCoy. Next up on the list, we got the sister, Sierra Hartland. Appreciate you, sister. Stay locked in. I got it. Definitely ain't going to let you down, Sierra Hartland. Now that we got that out the way, let's get it. Yeah, man. So they hopped in the whip, peel off. Left her in the doorway, deleted. Good brother done turned it up a notch. So now the good brother that went on ahead through the cross in the game, they on his ass, naturally. Now the good brother that went on ahead and went on that mission with his brother ends up losing his brother in that situation. The same brother that went on a mission with him, his brother used to work at Super Pride back in the day, down there on Patterson Park in Preston. But anyway, they called him getting off work, shot him up all in the parking lot, shot him in his head like seven times so he had a closed casket. And they shot his girl that was picking him up for work, but she survived. They didn't up the score. Well, I'ma say probably like three months after his brother got killed, bro that went on a mission with his brother, he gets grabbed up by homicide. They recovered the van that was used in the shooting and lifted some prints out of the van, latent prints out of the van. Then when they evaded the van, they searched his house and found the weapons that was used in the murder. He had both 40s in his house. He gets book charged with both weapons and homicide. Now, when I bumped back to him up on that farm, he was down housing unit two, and he was telling me how his lawyer got him back in court. He had a court date scheduled for his appeal. Cause bro was trying to get me moved in the cell with him, but the CO was acting like a bitch, wasn't trying to move cells and shit. But we used to talk, we'd come out in the day room and talk. And the good brother told me like, man, I should have stuck to you with the fuck I knew. The grass and the gambling. Cause soon he tried to do something different. Look how it turned out. Brother gone, mother mad at him cause she feel like he got him involved in this bullshit. And on top of that, he served 45 years, man. A lot of times, man, you got to stick to the script, stay in your lane. And plus, on top of all that, he got beef with certain brothers. On certain locations he go to, brothers from that neighborhood he was beefing with, man, they on ass. So he was telling me how he always stay ready, man. He used to show me pictures of his kids, always talk about how much he miss his kids and shit. Brother changed, man. Brother ain't nothing like he was before he went in. He didn't have time to sit down, destroy and rebuild. Man don't even cuss no more. But it took... 45 years to bring that out of growth and development. 